This is Dr. Kabir Raj Dev Singh. He is one of the best students ever graduated from Delhi Institute of Medical Science with an impeccable academic record. May I come in, sir? Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, the Idiots. I'm Corbin Singh. Why don't you sing for us, Corbin? La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rick. Hi. And how are you? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy, juicy content. It's so juicy. Um, and today we are doing a movie review. We are. We. One that. Uh, Nobody's really been thinking no, about it. Nobody's talked about it at attention all. To. It's uh, just a little one that kind of slipped in. Some of the little unknown actors in it as well. Yeah. Uh, called Kabir Singh. It's going to be part non-spoiler right at the beginning, and then we'll do a spoiler review for you. Right. Uh, right after that, and I'll let you know just so you can uh, hear about it, because it's new. So Correct. And you can uh, go away and watch it and then come but back. But this is a remake of Arjun Reddy, uh, which we did not get to see. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we I know a lot of you're mad. Yeah, we meant sorry. to. Lost time this week. Yeah. Um, but uh, apparently it's a shot for shot remake, so apparently we saw the same film. Um, <laughs> just, yeah. But uh, you want to. Uh, I do. Cover Singh is a remake of a Toluga movie, Arjun Reddy, 2017. Where That's a really quick turnaround time to remake a movie. Same. Yeah. Um, where a short tempered house surgeon gets used to drugs and drinks when his girlfriend is forced to marry another person. It's used. Used? Just used, used to gets used to drugs. Oh, used, okay. used to it. Used to it. Yes. He gets used a to short tempered it? house surgeon gets used to drugs. Used to drugs? Yeah, used to it. Not used. He gets addicted to drugs naturally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a very good <laughs> Sir, I have a story to tell you about my past. I, 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 I wasn't I, an addict, I just got used to drugs. <laughs> I guess that's another way of saying yeah. that, I suppose. Hey, are you, are you an alcoholic? No, I'm just used to alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a problem with it at all. I don't have an alcohol problem. Uh, but it's directed by uh, Sandeep Reddy Vanga, who also directed... Um, Other movies. Uh, well, Arjun Reddy. Yes. Uh, and oh, I didn't realize that. Same exact director. Same director of Arjun Reddy directed this. Yes. Huh, wow. Same exact director. Wow. Um, but uh, and obviously it's starring uh, Shahid Kapoor and... Yep. Uh, say her name for me. Kiara Advani, who plays Preeti. Preeti. Who, I don't believe we've seen her work before, I, have I don't we? think so. If we have, it was very, very, very small. She's in MS Downey. Which, uh, we haven't we've seen, seen the trailer. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, this film, uh, obviously, I think, deals with, um, I, I don't know if I agree fully with that synopsis. Uh, yeah, me too. The, uh, the getting used to, used to yeah. drugs and alcohol. I think this is about not his relationship. This is about an alcoholic, drug addict, guy with mental illness and depression, um, who is a womanizer mm. and m slightly misogynistic. Yeah, um, more, more than slightly. <laughs> yeah, um, but and that's I think the big uh, controversy with this, of ego. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, with this film, is that people uh, think it's praising. Um, uh, misogyny, right, uh, and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't agree with that at all. Me neither. Um, I think this is a. <laughs> I'm not. Was he misogynistic? Yes. Was he a womanizer? Yes. Did he hit her? Yes. yes. Spoiler alert. Sorry, um, but that. <laughs> I maybe it's a diff somebody told me that in India they um, they don't have a lot of films like this that feature characters. It's either they're a good guy, yeah, or they're a bad guy, right. Uh, Versus a complex character. A complex character um, who has lots of flaws. Right. Um, and this story is about a, ca a guy who is deeply flawed as a human being in multiple aspects of his life. Who does take a sizable character arc. Oh, yes. Most yes. definitely. And he... Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't know. If I was your brain, I could tell you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say something. <clears throat> Come back to us, Corbin. Um, sorry, I, I've gotten used to alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, but yeah, the uh, so I don't I don't have any problems with uh, him in this film, and also I don't see this film as glorifying. Not in any way. Just because a uh, a, a film is a film doesn't mean it's glorifying what it's talking about. There's a shit ton of films that talk about awful people, murderers. Mm -hmm. It's not glorifying murder. Right. It's so it, well. It's the same. T it's the same thing that people will talk about. You know, movies that use firearms and say that the film is glorifying firearms. Yeah. I, 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 I most of the time I, I think don't. You have I to use your brain and know what is right and what right. is wrong. Right. This guy was a uh, misogynist and was a womanizer and did hit her who he did mm -hmm. and that was wrong. <laughs> not saying it wasn't. And it's not portrayed <laughs> as a good thing in yes. the film. I mean, it doesn't. No. It is. In fact, Literally. when it happens, yeah. When it happens, you're like. And people he also, just did that. Yeah, I, and it's awful. Um, but yeah, we can talk about that in the spoiler review. Yeah, but uh, Shahid Kapoor's acting off the charts, phenomenal. I, you he's always he's always oh, good. Yeah, I thought you were right. I was no. about to fight you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, the, it was it was my. It's like with Nawazuddin. It was like he does it. He never had a false moment for yeah. me. Yeah, he was he was phenomenal. Um, uh, so I loved all that. The film. If you're not invested, I. I can see why people, like when we, he walked out, he said it was long, and I said, I'm not going to say that it wasn't long. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, you, if you're not invested in this character, um, who I love. Or this relationship, yeah. um, which I was. Yeah, I can see why people might think it's a little long and drawn out. I didn't really have that issue. My biggest issues with this film uh, would be the, um, the score and not necessarily the songs. It's, I it's just love the, the songs. It's the editing of them. That okay, was, that was the issue for me. And for me, I, I thought when it first started, I, I thought I might not like it. I, I actually liked the weird edits. Yeah, you think so? I actually... Well, it's just it, like, there would be like silence and then the next thing would be like, dun, dun. <laughs> Well, it was used comedically a couple of times. Yeah. And it worked great with that comedically. And then it did that shift and I, and I, I just was in this place of... You go, quirky director. That's kind of how I felt about it. Okay. I can see why people wouldn't like that. Yeah. And I would not have a bone to pick about it and try to fight with them and say, well, but it, because for me it was just. I would have just hoped because he used a lot of the sound to convey emotion sometimes. Yeah. And I was like, the actor could have done that for me. Yeah, I, I agree. If you would have let him do it as opposed to putting this but music the songs. On. Yeah, no, the songs uh, were phenomenal. Them. I love the, the songs. songs. Was, as was the little, there was kind of a pretty theme. Oh yeah, yeah, she throughout. definitely had a theme. She had a theme that kept coming back and uh, out. But yeah, I would definitely say go watch this film if you if if you want to. Um, if you have issues with the cuz a lot of people apparently have issues with the, the glorifying misogyny. I think if you use your brain, you can know that it's not doing that. They say multiple times in it that this character, no. he, they he they literally call him out like you're a misogynist, you're a drug addict, you're an alcoholic. I w I'm I was more bothered in a sense with the dad in Gully Boy. Oh yeah. And the way he treated his wives. Yeah. And the, that was that was yeah, that awful. was more offensive to me. That was way more offensive. And, to and me. then obviously when he hit her. Yeah, he does hit her once. So let's go into spoilers. But so we yes, can talk about but it. I would definitely say go see this. Film. Absolutely it was phenomenal, it. especially for Shahid's acting. That's really good. And her, her oh, I yeah. thought she did an exceptionally she did good. Very, job. very well as well. Yes. But if you don't want to hear any spoilers, go away. Leave now. Um, <laughs> All right. So spoiler time. So uh, yeah, this film, um, the relationship. Um, did you like how they did the whole um, story? It was kind of. It started out with him, um, basically. Uh, Already, str I believe it was already strung out, right? Because you already had the beard. Um, well, yeah, because they did kind of they they, they did flashbacks. flashbacks in an intelligent way, and then forward, yeah, and then flat, and then back and forth. Like one of my favorite flashback moments was him stepping on the glass and it immediately going to a foot with a glass in it, and it's actually her, mm -hmm. not him at that moment. It's her from the past. Yeah, and I liked those quick little. The director was like, "You're smart enough to track with the fact that I just did a flashback." Yeah, that was great. Also, um, uh, I will find anybody who says Shahid is more attractive without a beard. He man. literally, he literally turned to me when the beard came back on, and he's like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> and I, at one point, because it was so funny, the times it was right after the moment where she's giving the speech, mm -hmm. and the guy says something about it being boring, and he comes out and he's like, "Who said that?" Yeah. And he's standing there. I turned to Corbin and I said, "Don't talk about my wife." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you can relate to that character. Oh, I did. I would love to, to play, play that character. character. That is a Corbin so Miles character, freaking if ever there was one. Um, and here, I and back on the thing with the people that think it's uh, misogynistic, and horrifying, and we can talk about that women. a little more here. Um, films are meant to tell stories. Correct. They're not meant to tell just good stories. They're meant to tell stories. Right. This kind of story happens all the time. Correct. And so you don't need, to, and we, that can also be one of my second biggest issues with the film, which was the ending. Um, I knew you wouldn't like the ending. I, I didn't, no, not all the parts I hated. I know what you don't like in particular, but um, and I love it. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the story, films don't have to have a good guy and a bad guy. True. They're both black and white, and he ends up with a happy ending or blah blah blah. Yep. And, and bad guy, if it's a film about a uh, anti-hero, basically, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, I wouldn't even call this guy a hero. So it's, I think that's one of the biggest issues with a lot of films in India. They, their main character is the hero. The hero. Right. He is not a hero. No. At all. No. He is a deeply flawed person who is Correct. a drunk and alcoholic. Correct. Uh, and a major anger issues. <laughs> major anger issues. Which is, I think, the thing that stems. Everything in his life yes. is his anger issues. But but here's the thing. Let's talk about his his character arc and mm -hmm. continuing on with this this aspect of it. Because I saw a really well done in terms of it being believable for a human trajectory of transformation. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't just go from being screwed up to now I'm clean and I'm great. Yeah, that would have been awful. Mm -hmm. He goes from I'm screwed up. Now I'm really screwed up, mm. but I don't like who I am. Mm. The court scene, yeah, it was and, great. in that place, he played that phenomenally. And he says to his brother, "You know, I my whole identity's been this. I may have screwed everything up. I may have screwed up my relationship. I may, yeah, I got. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's mm. got to stop." And when he says, "I I'm, I'm an alcoholic," that that for me was his moment mm. of. Because uh, everybody who's a drug addict or an alcoholic or uh, or a womanizer and comes to the realization that their behavior has been bad mm -hmm. has to have a moment. They have to have an epiphany. Mm -hmm. It does come, and I, I believed that that moment for him was the epiphany moment when he said that, and I loved the the way that that progressed because it wasn't um, it wasn't. Uh, just simple. Yeah. It, it remained complex. And that's why I didn't view his behaviors as uh, so... Um, the way a lot of people are jumping up and down and freaking out about this. I don't understand why people are saying this glorifies I, it. Yeah, I think it's because they don't see this a lot. We hear... Because we watch Oscar films, and so they deal with these kind of characters. This is like an Oscar role. Yeah. If you're a drunk and alcoholic, that's an Oscar role. Yeah, but um, of so, the films we've seen, yeah. there's a lot of men who treat women like crap. Yeah. I mean, Gangs of Wasopher. Yep. He treats the women in his life like crap. Nawazuddin in Sacred Games. Nawazuddin in Sacred Games treats the women in Literally, his life like crap. He slapped them. He yeah. raped them. Uh, and there's a <laughs> lot... <laughs> I don't see anybody up there's in arms about that. There's a lot of films we've seen with men slapping women. Yeah. And it bothers me a lot. <laughs> And nobody said it glorified it, but for some reason this one is doing that, and I don't—I really don't know why. Here's why it's I think happening. it is: is because they don't believe Shahid, the guy ah. who's really like uh, been put up as the big love interest of Bollywood. Ah. And so they're like, I don't like seeing him like this. That's that not would make sense. I think that's what it is. That would make sense because that's very much in line with what SRK has said about what he does with his movie choices mm -hmm. and knows what his audience expects of him. Mm -hmm. So he tries to balance the artistic license to stretch himself without alienating himself from the people who love him for what he's done. Yeah. So I, that would make sense. If people don't like seeing him mm -hmm. be this kind of a character, then I... Yeah, I understand. I think, that. I think that's what it is, but I loved it. Me too. And I love that he made that choice as an actor. Me too. Uh, he, he's just so phenomenal. Okay, I, I love you, my best friend. Jahid. Now, now here's <laughs> what I want to know: How invested were you in their relationship, him and Preeti? I was, and but then I was also okay to let it go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't. I was. No, See, I wasn't. That, if my creative. I was fine. Like we can talk about the end now. The end where obviously he came back and uh, and I might cry again. We yes, asked by the way, I cried like a baby. <laughs> I didn't. Um, um, if I had let myself, if I was watching that at home. I would have made noises. Yeah, I would have been just sobbing at that ending. And I was, I was actually fine with um, 
Um, I didn't under totally understand. Maybe you can explain it to me. How they got around the whole arranged marriage? Did she just get a divorce or what? what she happened? just left. Okay, she just left. She three days after the wedding, she bolted. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I don't think I caught that button. So, yeah. The subs were white, and a lot of the screen was white, and so a lot, I didn't catch a lot. Was, a couple of times, they just frickin' put a sub up there, like, with two sentences, and it was up for half a second. Yeah. So, it was like, hey. So it was a little weird. Sometimes. But in that moment, I remember, because I was just, like, listening to every but, word coming out of her yeah, mouth. Yeah, no, I love that scene. Okay, um, I know what you don't like. But, uh, I mean, at the end, the and I, no, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated it. I knew you were like, come on, don't do that. I hated That's it. That's not believable. Um, I loved it. If I was the director, I would have ended it differently. Of course you would. I know. I would have ended, I, I would have ended it exactly the way I was I think ended. that, and that's why a lot of people are upset, is because they ended up back together. And so they're like, he, they're glorifying the fact that he hit her. No. But I think they kind of... Want, a, he, I think he knows that was a mistake. I think I do too. It would be one thing if he was like abusing her the whole time. Exactly. And he kept hitting which, her. Which he, he was. It, it, to he was verbally abusive. He was verbally abusive. And he was, it was that, it was the, the tension between a man being forceful and going after what he wants and being protective and saying you're mine there's a positive to that mm -hmm. he took it too far obviously so so but it, but it, he changes it, we it, watch that change in him one thing if he was like the dad from gully boy and he you know he's or he was like hitting her all the time right, right and all right. that kind of stuff no if he had hit her even if he had hit, if it was a repeated act of hitting it'd be like okay do not you do not need to be with this guy. No, the it, one time was like it was like atrocious offense mistake. And I feel like, like she forgave him in the end, which also why she hit him. Like, which also if you're upset about that, you should be upset about her hitting him multiple but, times. But whatever. Yeah, we'll ignore that right yeah. now. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think she forgave him and she hit him a bunch of times. Yeah. Um, and I think that was kind of her okay. like frustration and forgiveness for sure. For um, sure. I thought it was beautiful. I thought that I, whole I scene thought that was, was fine. I would have ended it differently, but I was fine with it. The issue I had with it was that the rest of it, it all's now up in, in a, a little, pretty little bow. bow. The dad, he was like, Mwah. I was, I was, I was yes. so mean to you. I was ready to kill you. But, but now, now I understand I forgive you. because I love my daughter and she loves you and I forgive you. Yep. Heck freaking yeah. No, I don't like it. Yep. Makes me want to drink. Sunshine Makes and me rainbows. want to get used to drinking. Happy endings. <laughs> we need more of them. Um, um, yeah. Yes. And I, I, the thing that just destroyed me, mm -hmm. and there's a lot in the movie that destroyed me. We don't need to get into it. Mm -hmm. But, and I'll probably start getting emotional when I, because I didn't see it coming. I don't know if you saw it coming. I did. You bastard. Oh, we talked about it in the car. We saw really? It. You saw it coming too? I didn't, because I'm, I can, I'm so not, when I'm pulled in and I'm rooting, like, uh, I heard you, I am, you verbally said it in the theater, I am, I am waiting, I'm waiting, I'm like, okay, there's no way this movie ends with Preeti just being gone and married to that guy, that can't happen, they're supposed to be together, that would have been nice though, they're supposed to be together, he's got to go back to her, so when he goes back, and she turns and she's pregnant, I was like, oh no, that sucks, that would be great. And then when he comes back, that's real life, right? And he comes back, and she says, uh, "You know, she gets mad and she's slapping him." But did you notice when he said, "I can go talk to him," he wasn't being his old angry self again, where he was like, "I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get in his face. I'm gonna tell him that you're mine." He he was deferring to her at that moment and saying, "Tell me to go talk to him, and I'll talk to him." Mm. And so she finally says what she says, and then when she says, uh, "There it is," but she says. He never touched me. I thought, okay, what did he just, obviously it wasn't an intimate moment. He probably just used you for the sex. And wait a minute, she's saying more than that. And when she said to him, this is your baby, I, I lost it. Oh, I saw it. I was uh, in the I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> yep, I was done. So it's, it's definitely a, I didn't actually, I didn't know because we didn't see Arjun Red. And I'm, Sad we didn't, but I'm also happy we didn't. Right, me too. Because I think most of the reviews you're going to see are people that have seen Arjun Reddy. Right. And so they know it's a shop truck. They knew what was coming. Right. It was, it was a completely new experience for us. Um, and I wanted to... I, one of the reasons I was kind of happy to experience this with because of how much we like Shahid Kapoor. Yeah. Um, and He's really, so really good. like to be introduced to this character in the story with him because we've really grown attached to his work. Yeah. Um, and he just plays freaking... 
lunatic angry beautifully. But but subtly. But it's subtly, and the thing I was happy for, and I was I wanted to see, and I knew it was there because I've seen it in other roles he's played, uh, especially believe it or not, in, in, in Padmavat. At the end, when when the walls were down, and he actually got emotional as she was talking to him. I, I needed to see that from him. Mm -hmm. The investment. I believed one hundred percent that these two people were in love with each other. Mm -hmm. Believed it a hundred percent. Totally. Yeah. That yeah. was just really, really well. Yeah, done. and I didn't know it was a love story, and so that was interesting. No, it um, caught me by surprise. Yeah, I didn't know it was supposed to be like this big love story. Big love story. Which is maybe why people are also upset, um, because they don't think people that have problems in their life should be in love. Um, yeah, it's true. No one, no, only the people who deserve love yeah. should have love. People are perfect. They never make mistakes ever. Those are the ones that deserve love. The broken, they don't need love. They don't deserve love. I just don't get it. I don't either. I don't get it. If you don't like, if you didn't like a film because of that, that's your prerogative. I mean, think that's fine. That is. But the, I didn't see any glorification of anything. I saw it as all. It was all bad. <laughs> no, I yeah. And I, was, I I love characters like that because that's how real life is. Yes, a broken guy. People's stories deserve to be told regardless of if they're good or bad. Yes, and this guy showed the progress of going from being a broken, angry person, and I believe part of the reason he was able to get through to the other side of all that was because of her. Mm -hmm. um, and no, he's not a perfect person. There are no perfect people, guys. Mm -hmm. No, he's and, far from a perfect person. No, and... and uh, it was actually, uh, maybe you can uh, explain, it. I thought it was a very similar relationship, it, it, partially, in terms of Notebook. Do you ever see The Notebook? No. Oh, never mind then. You yeah, never mind. I wouldn't know. It's, it's an awful relationship. Is it? Like, like, see, it's, that, see I, I hate that relationship I, I because people think it's like this big romance. I'm like, they right. have a terrible relationship. No, I've seen movies like that. The people are like, oh, I love that relationship and that love story. She's, I'm like, that's not a love story. That's a poisonous relationship. She, this wasn't that at all. At the beginning it, it was. At the beginning it was the way he was initiating but it. But in No Notebook, she is that way to him. Ah. Uh, she's a like a verbally and emotionally abusive person. To this guy. Yeah. Yeah, there's some films I can't catch any off the top of my head right now that are... It's like, why, do you, why are you guys rooting for this couple? They're, this is a really awful, unhealthy relationship. But, um, yeah, I would say definitely go see it. Go I would, see I would definitely give it a B plus A. a. Uh, I, I, for me, it's an A. A? Yeah. The um, only thing, and again, this is the freaking... Oh, I really wonder... They, I, they have to have done the money comparisons to see... Does it, is it better for the theaters in India to have the intermission break so people can buy the concessions and things? Or is it better to have more show times because the run times are shorter and sell more tickets? Which is more profitable for them? I'm guessing they've done the math, which is why they had a big uproar about don't take away our intermissions. Mm -hmm. Because I think this movie would have benefited from, and, and I've grown accustomed as you have to the run time. I, I would have liked to have seen this clipped by at least 25 minutes, at, at least pacing wise. It could have been. I could have seen that. Yeah. Uh, it, it, but it, it doesn't deter me, me from it. It didn't bother me that it much. It doesn't deter time. me from it. My only thought of that was how potentially, and I was thinking specifically about an American audience because I, I know you do too. Yeah, American audience. I want to see films from India seen in America. There's there, the, the theater could have and should have been full, and it, it wasn't on opening no, weekend. We got recognized in the bathroom. Yeah, we, we did. We really, <laughs> really did. But I, one of the deterrents to Indian film is going to be, first, obviously, the subtitles, and we can't do anything about that because no. you can't fix stupid. Nope. Second are, is, is the long run times, because Americans will see the run time and go, Whoa. three hours? Is it an adventure film? Yes. Because if it's not, why would I do that to myself? Yes. And, and that's... That's where I'm like, on the one hand, I wouldn't change a frame, but on the other hand, it's like, man, to make it more accessible to a broader audience. And certain films <sighs> do that. I think they, that's why you see a lot of two-hour films. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now. For sure. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I understand what you're saying. But yeah. yeah, I would definitely go see this film. 100%. Uh, 100%. Uh, well done. Good support. job, Shahid Kapoor. Shahid Kapoor. Yeah, support and, him. Um, and this girl, I really love this girl in this. And uh, the director as well. Yes, well, the Sunday. director did a great job. I yeah. thought, I thought um, we don't need to go into all the other things we've done long enough, but as far as, we didn't talk too much about her. I, I thought she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I thought, I believed her as someone to fall in love with. I, and she I, didn't even say very much. Didn't need to, exactly. Yeah, she did. didn't even need to. That's a mark in of fact, If you didn't say a lot and you had that um, emotion come out for yep. people. She doesn't really say much until the very, very end, and then she just lets it all spill out, which made that mo that that seems so much more powerful. Which is very similar to uh, Brokeback Mountain with uh, Heath yeah. Ledger. Yeah, yeah, very, very good comparison. It's just a very 
internal 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 person. work yeah. internal work that there does come a moment where they just can't take it mm -hmm. which for her I thought it was beautiful and it was directed so well I would love to know if the director used multiple camera shots on that park bench sequence so that they could just capture everything in the moment yeah. rather than try and try and get it from his vantage point and her point of view because that just felt like it was a singular moment especially for her because that moment for her is her cathartic pinnacle moment for mm -hmm. her character and I thought it was beautiful yeah so yeah see it go see this film Kabir's wait hold on who am I you're Corbin Singh Corbin Singh out <laughs>